So normally you go to the store, you buy a chuck roast. It's kind of a cheap cut of meat, so you throw in the crock pot with some vegetables, some br some broth, some different things to kind of, you know, moisten it up and do things with it. But it seems like there's a hot new trend and that trend is turning it into burnt ends. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna figure out today if it's good or if it's not, and we're gonna do it together. Follow along, fire up your own. Let's get it done, Chuck Rose Burnt Ends. You wanna cook these with me? And let's just hang out virtually. Let's have a good time. Now I've got a smaller Chuck Rose and it's got a beautiful marbling. It's got a deep red color and I'm really feeling pretty good about how this thing looks. Now normally I'd use some of my AP rub, but today I'm gonna to use some good old Montreal steak seasoning. I really want this meat to be able to form a solid bark and I feel like the larger granules are gonna help with that. Make sure that you get every side of the meat, even the small sides. Cover it up, you want bark in as many places as possible. Now next, we're gonna generously season this bad boy with my barbecue rub. This cut is smaller than brisket, obviously, so it's gonna cook a lot faster. You want to make sure that you have plenty of rub on here to lay down the foundation for a deep, great bark. Now the peppery notes are going to be awesome as well, and the extra brown sugar is going to help kind of crust up your bark. Now I've had this in the smoker at 275 degrees for about two hours. My internal temperature is about 160 and I'm really happy with how this bark has begun to set. I'm really surprised by how juicy this thing still is. What we want is about one inch squares for our burnt ends. So we're gonna go ahead and slice up our chuck roast. Once you have it cubed, grab a pan and set your meat down in the pan. Now grab some warm water and stir in about a half a tablespoon of beef base. If you don't have base, broth will get the job done. Now we're gonna pour that beef base right into our pan. Just don't overdo it. Too much is gonna make your meat more steamed and less smoked. Now you wanna grab a piece of foil and wrap it tight around your pan. I know you see that I've got these pieces of meat over here on the counter. And you're thinking, why are those there? It's because I'm gonna eat them, because I'm hungry AF right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our pan and we're gonna throw it back on the smoker for another hour. Now I've taken the pan back off the smoker. It's been about an hour and you don't wanna overdo this step because you will oversteam it and lose all your bark altogether. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna get the meat chewy either. Again, it's a tough cut. Now looking at these, I'm extremely happy with how they look. They're definitely cooked, and we really need to focus on getting that bark to where we want it to be now. Now we're gonna drain the juice from the pan into a container and mix it with our sweet sauce. I'm going with about a 50-50 ratio. You want it thick enough that it's going to firm up on the outside, but thin enough that it easily covers everything. We really want to get this glaze set on the outside. It's going to have a ton of flavor and it's going to really nail the burnt end factor here. And here we are, the finished product. They look like burnt ends. They feel great. They're soft. I think I'm going to have to give one a taste. Whoa. The flavor in this thing is crazy. I never imagined a chuck roast could taste like this. Now, I'm gonna do something I wouldn't normally do, and I'm gonna go ahead and slather these in some extra sauce. I'm gonna toss them around a little bit, kind of give them a fresh coat, because I think that that is the final touch that we need to really set these off. So that's it, man. That is all you have to do to have some bomb ass burnt ends out of chuck roast. It's really good. It's not gonna take the place of briskets. Brisket burnt ends are better. Enjoy them. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If there's something you want me to teach you how to cook, drop it below. Let's cook it. Let's cook it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching. I appreciate the streak that we've been on. My last video, first video to get over a thousand views. It's almost at like 1200, which is nuts when you consider my first video got like 40. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for being part of the movement. See you guys here in a few days with a brand new video.